sa mapagpalang araw sa inyo ating mga a good life at mga fans ng Seiko so today is a good day dahil mag unbox tayo ng Seiko Philippine Limited Edition number 4 so ito yung sa Ifugao Rice Terraces na inspired na Seiko no? so previously meron kaming video on the Limited Edition, edition number 3 yung Agila so click nyo na lang yung link dyan sa taas But this time, number 4 naman yung i-unbox natin. So, mga one, around 1 one week na or more na na-release yung Seiko 4th um, Limited Edition. So, this time, it's inspired by the Ifugao Rice Terraces. So, every purchase will go a long way to save the Ifugao Rice Terraces in partnership with ITMO, no? yung Ifugao, Rice, Ifugao Terraces movement. No? So, sila yung nangangalaga protect the majestic wonders ng ating Ifugao Rice Terraces also known as the Banawi Rice Terraces so it's a world wonder no? and um, yaman ng Philippines yan so sana eh, mapanatili natin in good condition not just for tourists but also for the locals na nakatira dun na tinataniman talaga nila ang pangin no? so this time dalawa yung strap nakasama dun sa box ng Seiko 4th um, Limited Edition So brown itong una um, Medyo hawig siya Doon sa kulay ng 3rd Philippine Limited Edition And then the other one naman Is kulay green So in, kung hindi ako nagkakamali This is the first time na Overall tatlo yung strap no? Yung stainless and then dalawa yung rubber Kasi usually isang rubber Isang stainless but this time dalawa yung rubber Na binigay nila green and brown So Di ko alam kung alin yung babagay doon, but tingnan natin, no? And depende na rin sa inyo. So, yun nga, no? So, una, thank you kay um, Seiko sa pakalendaryo. And sa supplier natin, ang Seiko, na si Endless Time. No? So, shout out ulit kay Endless Time. Tsaka niya ka ulit nakuha itong 4th Limited Edition. So, may pakalendaryo siya. Similar to last year, actually. No? So, kung magiging yearly thing na ito, kung yearly maglalabas si Seiko ng Limited Edition. So, this time, yung 4th Limited Edition, may kasama pa siya ng paper bag. No? So, last time kasi box lang eh. So, ito naka-paper bag pa siya. No? So, it's green. Parang, I'll describe this as military green eh. Yung parang camouflage na ito thing. Kasi yung Banawi Rice Terraces. No? So, may mga contours, contours yung box na parang top view. Rice Terraces. Kasi yung nakalagay. So, Eco Prospects Limited Edition. So, tingnan natin kung anong laman ng box. So, ito nakakatawa, uh, may white jacket pa siya. Just nung binasa ko siya, uh, it's really a note to the retailer na tanggalin. So, parang, ito talaga, mainit-init pa. Galing pa to sa retailer. Kaya naman, hindi pa natanggal yung box. No? Or, ako, ano, appreciate ko din. Hindi na nila tinanggal. Added protection din. Diba? Yung box. So, the outer box is black. So, parang kang bumili ng bagong foam. Talino. It's black. And then, um, nating ano naman, nakalagay. Wala naman mga nakalagay pa. Wala mga uh, limited edition or what. So, buksan natin yung box. Ayan. So, opening the box. There's a, another box inside. Kulay green. And before we unearth those, um, so, ito yung default na alaman niya. Are the instruction manual. Ayan, so basahin nyo na lang. And the warranty card. Ayan. So, nandun sa likod yung warranty card. So, this time, yung limited edition is actually 1.5 pieces, no? So, 
Ang tumadami, mga tumataas yung demand, kaya dinagdaga nila. Previously, mga 1k pieces lang talaga. Yung limited edition nga yung ginawa nilang 1,500. Medyo mahirap lang i ano? So, ipupush natin from the other end yung box. Ayan. So, naka-jacket pa yan. The kulay green, similar to the um, paper bag. So, may mga contours din ng ano, no? To represent nga the resteresis. Ayan. Tapos, kung tinanggal yung jacket, it's a black and green box. So, ayan. So, ito yung takip niya. It's green, uh, parang velvet yan. Or felt paper. Nakalagay Prospects Limited Edition. No? Then, ito nga yung card, which I mentioned earlier. Na every purchase, Uh, part of the proceeds will go to it mo, uh, sit mo, sorry, sit mo or save the ifogauter resist movement. So that's um to help no maintain and take care of the ifogauter resist. Nakung wala yon, eh, walang inspiration. Itong si ko fourth limited edition. No, so here are the And thank you ulit kay Endless Time, no? Again, ito na. So, yung straps na dalawa. And then, the actual, um, watch, no? So, I'll leave it up to you, guys. Kung, um, ano mas bet nyo, no? Mukhang, uh, mukhang mong mas bagay yung green for me, no? Medyo hindi ako fan ng brown strap talaga. Later on, I'll show you then yung post ni Seiko Philippines sa IG nila. Mukhang doon, ano eh. Mukhang doon, makakakuha tayo ng idea kung ano yung itsura ito. Once kinabit na yung um, bracelet. So, here's the actual watch. Um, presenting the 4th limited edition Seiko. No? Um, this one is a samurai. Kung di ako nakakamali ha, pasensya na. Seiko Samurai. Uh, so, yung minute hand niya, parang samurai, basically, no? Tapos, yung bezel niya is purely black. Hindi siya two-tone, unlike the previous edition. And then, yung pinaka-ano niya, unique feature niya is yung dial, na may mga contours na, no? Try natin i-zoom in a while, pero yan, no? From here pa lang kita niya na may mga ano-ano siya. Yung mga ridges, no? So, here I'm just showing na 1.5 na yung denominator out of 1.5. Ayan, no? And then, this piece is number 3.3.5. So, the dial is green. Pero, minsan, depende sa tama ng light. Minsan, it's dark green bordering on parang black. Pero, pag direct yung light, ayan, green siya. And then, uh, parang may wave-wave, no? That's, that's meant to represent yung rice terraces. Mama, ipakita ko sa inyo on the zoom version yung, um, yung itsura niya. Ayan, kita niya ba? Here's the zoom version. Ayan, no? Kita niya. So, may mga fine lines. So, kung yung previous edition is parang feathers, ito naman. If you're not familiar, parang isipin mo flower siya eh. Pero hindi siya symmetrical. It's really the rice terraces, no? Na, alam naman natin yung rice terraces, parang random yung pattern niya, hindi symmetrical. And then, hagdan-hagdan talaga siya. Na, pa-curve pa yung mga edge na mga steps, no? Hundreds and hundreds of steps. Ito yung loom niya. At, pag madilim. Ayan, maganda rin, no? So, yung loom niya, ano, uh, hindi, sir, hindi mga bilog-bilog yung nasa ano niya, eh. Yung indicator niya ng ano. Ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ganyan, diba? 
So, medyo sharp. Uh, small, parang rectangle lang. Even yung bezel niya, may loom. No? So, again, here's another look dun sa dial. Ano kulay, ano kulay green ba to? Um, hindi ko makuha yung words eh. Hindi siya grass eh. Kasi yung grass medyo parang mas plain green. Ito parang may yellowish green. Ayan. Or depende rin siguro sa lighting or yung yung hands na kasi medyo yellow yung design eh. ba diba? Yung loom niya. Kaya parang siguro nakaka-affect yun dun sa pagka-green ng mismong dial. The stainless strap is just uh, one tone. Um, yung ano kasi, I recall yung Banawe. Eh, ay, sorry, Digito Bataha. The first edition is two tone. No, but the Eagle is one tone then And then, ito, one single tone lang din. So, ayan, here's another look at the dial. Oh, before I forget, ito rin, no? May ano siya. Parang nakamagnify yung... Um, date indicator niya ko na sorry hindi ko alam po nang tawag doon pero ta magnify yung iba kasi di ba parang normal lang siya walang umbok but this one may umbok yung ano niya yung glass niya para nagma-magnify yung ano yung indicator ng um, date for the day so as promised um ito yung hiniram kong reels or post from Seiko Philippines na IG no so here um, pinakita nila yung ano kung anong itsura kapag kinabit mo na yung green or yung brown na strap no so here ayan no para mas bagay yung green no kasi green din yung dial so you have a black um, bezel para i ano i highlight pa yung green na ito naman yung brown so depende na lang sa trip nyo So, ito lang yung mga authorized retailers na say ko, sinama ko na rin para uh, we showed their whole post, no? So, kayo, ano mas bet ninyo? Um, is it the green strap or the brown strap or yung classic tayo na stainless steel? No? Let me know sa mga comments po ninyo. So, again, it's a samurai watch. We will do a video on the mga differences ng mga Seiko nicknames. No? Uh, it retailed at 45,000 also and limited to 1,500 pieces only in the Philippines. So, yan guys. I hope you enjoyed our unboxing of the Seiko Bana Ifogao Rice Terraces um, limited edition watch. Thank you.